Hello everybody, welcome to the Season 2 Planes Blood Bowl 3. We have got the first round match between Crystal Hunter, who finished top of the ladder, and Inarion, who qualified through the Planes. And in the booth with me is the other official caster for the playoffs, Andy Davo. Hello. Hello. Couldn't do it, posh boys, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, we're, we're way too late for that. <laughs> Let's have it start with the, the one that Dimmy always says, Hello, everybody. <laughs> I don't talk like that, Dimmy. But I had already started with real voice. <laughs> so, yeah, we've no chance of poshness if uh, over here. It's interesting, isn't it, Skaven? He's benching the leader um, thrower to make sure he's got the thrower for the one turn. Yeah. But is interesting issue with this is... I don't think that's correct. I I, I think as Ellie, we saw Elliot take extra arms, right? That the the Shohan's pickup is such a huge single point of failure for the one turn with like multiple rerolls now. I wonder if even leader is correct, right? Like even if you're trying to max one turn. Yeah, if, you if, you, uh... if you if you're maxing it out, you've got to go make everything a two plus with a reroll wherever possible. Yeah. And if you're really going max, you want a sidestepping gutter runner, really. Like if you're building into that that way of playing. Yeah. Um, what skills the jugger uh, the the right ogre got? Juggernaut. That is. Is that the new juggernaut skill? That is the new juggernaut. Yeah. The <laughs> there's no there's no stand firm unfortunately on the pitch, <laughs> but um, yeah they changed it. It was, it was quite similar to wasn't it? It was quite similar to juggernaut. The juggernaut icon was similar to the stand firm icon. So they changed they changed them both to make them not similar anymore. So that was great, wasn't it? Listen to feedback and and change them. The. Uh, mm. The uh, mm. <laughs> the stand firm one, choosing to make it just the legs was certainly a choice, but uh, <laughs> the juggernaut, yeah, de definitely looks different to the stand firm now. Um, so that's good. Don't ask Tren. Don't ask Tren what she thinks of it. <laughs> no, no, do not ask. Do not ask Tren what, what the stand firm logo looks like. <laughs> Tren has no opinion here. <laughs> yep. So. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, it's it's interesting, isn't it? This is a family friendly stream. I mean, I assume it is. I, I assume it is. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, interesting block wrestle, isn't it? And then a tackle and a, a tackle and a guard. I like not going the tackle and the mighty. We, a lot of people go and tackle and a mighty. And uh, I said I like. I actually quite liked your frenzy. You know, rather than because like tackles <laughs> dead versus a lot of teams, isn't it? Like the, all the dwarves yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Um, Orcs tackles completely dead, and then the mighty blow. You know, frenzy does half of a mighty blow's job right, and then it gets more knockdowns. So it's not doubling the chances of the injury, but it's doubling other removal or whatever the AB break. But it is removing, it is doubling the chance of the knockdown. So it's almost, you know, almost doubling the chance of the knockdown. So it's almost making more armor breaks, and then it's almost doing a tackle job in games where you need tackle. So I actually do quite like one frenzy rather than like splitting the tackle. I don't, I re but then I also don't like splitting tackle and mighty anyway. But at least uh, at least Chunter's got a guard in. Yeah, I really, I, uh, quite a lot of people do a tackle and a mighty and I, I really don't like it. Um, in Orange's got loads of block, five block guys, two tacklers because he obviously recognised how terrible this matchup was for him. <laughs> and yeah, this is, this is good, good for him, isn't it? Like, two tackle against the gutters here. If he can get one, you know, one tackle you can only isolate two. It's given enough to work at this. Yeah. And I think they should use the Rat Ogre to blitz into it where you know, tacklers where possible. So if you can isolate one with a Rat Ogre, the other one you might be able to just pin down from a line rat from time to time and then the gutters can play around. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You want, you want to trade off either something they can't deal with or something they don't want to deal with. <laughs> like it's just a useless, useless chaff. Yeah. yeah. I think... Uh, I yeah, how far back was the ball back? You just see it, it's hidden under the uh, yeah. number icon, isn't it? Yeah, he went, he went full. Uh, he went, yeah, I was going to say, surely he's going to blitz with the uh, blitz with the troll here, right? Because he's got two assists, and, and then he just moved that guy, and it completely bamboozled by this tackle up here. I don't know why he's gone for that, but he's gone. Oh my god, he's based the. Ooh. This is very aggressive with, uh, you know, because I'd be like desperately trying to protect versus the escape and breakthrough, but um, yeah. and Aaron's piling in here. If they get through, he's in trouble. Yeah. Sorry, my child is still awake. Apologies. <laughs> Oof. This is uh, this is spicy, isn't it? This is rowdy. This is uh, this could. 
but I guess you know like it, it's tough, right? It's really tough for for Inarian here because if he just kind of plays safe, is he just gonna lose? You know, and and like maybe probably right. So he's kind of incentivized to try like the high rolly thing, you know, maybe just say, you know, screw it. If they get through, they get through. Oh, that's the most biggest adventure over. He's picked it up. Yes. Yeah. In the rain as well, isn't it? That was very scary. Do you, do you actually want to spend the sneaky get here on what is potentially just getting kicked out for a line wrap? I think you have to, right? Because of the, the troll tag. Because if he didn't, that guy would have just stood up and the rogue punches, doesn't he? Whereas now he's got to worry about these defensive assists and stuff. Like it actually gets really quite tricky to hit the with the roger now, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, and the roger doesn't want to get punched back. So I, I like what Anorian's done there. The tag on the diagonal is pretty, pretty powerful. Yeah, as as long as he gets the AV break, and he he did. So yeah, I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to foul that. But the the situation that he set up made it good I thought yeah yeah you really want you really want to foul gutters don't you that's the that's the big one <laughs> maybe the tackle blitzer right like the, you don't really want your uh, goblins getting hit by block tackle so fouling him would be okay and then plus there's like the argument for just stacking attrition right like sneaky gits don't get caught much so you might as well just foul every turn and completely steamroll them um, there's a chance of that happening, and that's kind of what he has to do to win it. You know, almost. Wow, spending the blitz for this. This is going to let him get. If that was, if that was a straight pal, it would have let him get through a bunch of players. Who's got the awful dice? Who can't select white block dice? <laughs> what is wrong with you? Yeah, it's yeah. It's, well, some of them are quite. I, I really like. I've got the pink one with like black spots. And that's that seems very readable. I think that's about. I was very happy with that. Um, yeah. I've got some blue. They, they, they're like uh, crystal blue ones. They're blue and I think they're blue and black. They they were in the shop recently. They they were all right. Mm -hmm. So there are there are a couple that are actually quite readable. Um, and it would be nice if Nacon would actually. I, I hope it shows in the data if they can find the ones that people actually buy are the ones that are readable, and the ones that are less readable uh, are less popular. That's mm -hmm. the uh, that's the official way of looking at, it, isn't it? Yeah, it's funny. It's funny, isn't it? Because there was the one on the uh, the one on the blood pass, the undead blood pass. It looks they look amazing, but <laughs> I couldn't I couldn't tell <laughs> any result on them. Um, but they they look really nice. Um, who's favourite to win team wise? I mean, definitely the Skaven. Definitely the Skaven here. The, the Skaven are huge favourites to win, um, and so so. Inarian has to like recognize that he's the underdog and has to like play accordingly and and honestly like he put that tackler over there which I wasn't a fan of like getting the tackler hit on purpose and like stranded but it's this one here is great isn't it because now he's going to get the three dice this guy on a on a GFI which is uh, really nice three dicing a gutter with tackle would, would you go so that's definitely a, a, a one of the ways to go what about going after the line rat that he's just moved through that's uh, behind the guard? Um, and and I fell foul of this recently, making go for it with ball carriers, right? Just, just don't. Cause, um, and this is equivalent, like, he's he, if he fails, if he snaked that go for it, he's probably lost. Like, straight yes. up, just, just get, yeah, an Aryan, he loses. So going for a block hit on a basic line rat, way safer. And then you can pile that tackle into the into the mix. He's going for it though. Yeah, he's de he, I, I like this is the thing. Like, if he wasn't such a underdog, I agree. Go for the go for like safe moves and get up. But like, he he is a big underdog. He's such a big underdog. You got to try and high roll. You got to try and high roll. You, you just, I, well, I think I believe. I think you've got a high roll here, so I yeah I'm, I fully endorse the like I wouldn't I wouldn't be doing it if I had like you know like let's say you know even dwarves right I would just try and play properly and or uh, you know undead or whatever like they weren't allowed or underworld any of those kind of a team where I thought I had a pretty good chance of winning I wouldn't do it but yeah with with black orcs absolutely hundred percent doing that GFI the troll has got no mates. Yeah, it's it's well. I think you send the goblin through. Is it goblin can get through on a, the one that hasn't moved yet? Um, 
It's a three plus with dodge and then a two, a singular go for it. Pull that black up, big and sorry, the black up back, make the cage, foul the gutter runner, and then dodge through and then throw the, the hit. That's my order of operation there. Hmm. I mean, you so could just use the sneaky kit, right? Because you can't foul this turn because the because of the stun. Well, I mean, you can foul this turn, so you could just sneaky get him, bring this one back. What? Yeah. The sneaky get going in there is okay. It, yeah. it looks dangerous if is it fails. It, yeah, if it fails, yeah, because oh yeah, so he does the he does the dodge GFI, yeah. And then actually, if you get this down, that's your foul, isn't it? It could be, yeah. <laughs> Oh, KO? No, not a foul. <laughs> unless he unless he apples it. He does apple it. Oh man. That's foul. No, he's back to he's back to the gutter. I don't like uh, putting him out out here because now it's longer to get back to foul. Like you know, if he cast him, it's further to get back to foul the the rogue <laughs> next turn, isn't it? <laughs> the next target. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, GFI to foul the rogue if, if he'd like cast him. But this this is this is getting a bit worrying for an hour, uh, for Chunter, right? He got the random cast on the dodge away from the line or that it was so irrelevant that neither of us remarked on it. But you know, it, it's still a player, right? He's capped at eleven for the rest of the match. And now he's used his apple as well, so it it's squeaky bum time for Chunter, like if things start happening uh things could start going south as they did for Olivier Dulac in the uh play ins, the you know, number one rated Table topper, isn't he, with Skaven? Um, He's quite good, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and you know, I'm not saying that Inarian diced the pants off him, but he, uh, he definitely diced the pants off him. <laughs> <laughs> Who picked this pitch? It's a good point. Chunter, this is Chunter's pitch. Uh, dwarf pitch. I, I think it's one of the decent ones, right? Like, uh, the fact that the lines line up with the... With the... Uh, it's, With the squares, I quite like. Oh, he rolled a one! He rolled a one! And tackle! <laughs> tackle made him fail and get KO'd! <laughs> it turns out this tackle position was brilliant from Inarian on turn one. <laughs> Genius. It's... This is... It doesn't get to go much better than this, does it? Three removals, Apo gone. Yeah. Sneaky get survived. I mean, you'd have rather not get armor broken, but he survived. Amazing, yeah. This is going. This is going really well, really well for an Aryan. He's going to three dice, well, isn't he? That's the plan here. He's, he's setting up for the troll three dice. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that last move confirmed it. <laughs> yeah, if there was any doubt, yeah. Because he could have still just hit hit the. He could have still three D the gutter, couldn't he? Like it, it's something that people do. If that had been stupid, he would have had a problem there. The front, the, the ball carrier, ball is too one square too far forward. Yeah, you wouldn't have been able to stand where the trolley stood now, with anything other than a goblin in tackle. Yeah, that would that would have been a problem, especially versus Chunter with you know loving chains and having that roger right there. Yep, yeah, that was that was a bit that was a bit spicy. Yeah, maybe one square back, but then maybe you know he doesn't want to give. You know, any hint of like an easy dodge in, but I, I guess you could like uh, Venger Bust, right? If he's one back, so maybe. Oh. Neat, very, neat, yeah, really, really. But then that, that's what he's got to do, hasn't he? He's got to push, he's got to take these angles where, you know, he, he pushes the look a bit, he's got to make that GFI, he's got to rely on the troll, stupid. But you know, maybe a bit less now, right? With three instant removals. And the apple gone. Maybe you know, it's a rolling assessment, isn't it? It's like a rolling, a rolling game state assessment of how far behind or ahead you are, and then you've got to like shape your play to the situation you're in. Yeah, I'm just looking at seeing whether or not he's is he feeling super aggressive with Rat Ogre Blitz into troll like one dice pushing ball carrier, filling yeah, making it a T shape, pushing the ball towards the side. I, I don't think so. I think he's gonna <laughs> just blitz that goblin. Um, <laughs> But, or he might take the big one, uh, the black orc. Sorry, I'm not. Uh, that's, that's that's near the goblin. Go go that way. Get the rat ogre away from trouble. Yeah. And, and trying to reset your position. He's isolated the sneaky git already, which is good. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that was actually good. another reason to to foul from the upper spot as well, wasn't it? Because he'd have been he'd have been a couple of squares closer. 
um, yep. as well as being close at the rogue. Yeah, I, yeah, I think you're right. I think he'll blitz away. I think he'll blitz away with a rogue. Get him, get him safe. I think he's going to go for the the goblin here. I guess because you, could, if you take the goblin three dice, three dice, you you can probably still get the um, the, the black orc. <clears throat> yeah, maybe. And it's got a better payoff. Did Zenoria, I forget, he's, I think he's got a 13 uh, is a roster, or is he 14? I forget, 14. I just deleted them all. They, yeah. they, they all died when I played them, so I don't remember how many got. <laughs> 14, yeah, I actually liked his, I liked his roster the most. Oh, he's wandering the troll. Wow. Wow, and he puts in the loner reroll as well. I don't, what, what, why? What did I, what did, what did we miss there? Why? Why? <laughs> I don't it, know. You can, you can push it one square, because the second, the troll, if you push it into the ball, the troll has to go where yeah. the goblin is now, and the goblin go, the, the troll goes backwards. Yeah. But there's not, it's... It, <laughs> so what? he was going to... Was he going to... what he was up to. I mean, he, and he couldn't try to surf it, right? Because it would be... Oh, no, no, no. He, no he, there was no surf on, was there? Like, he, he no. could have... No, that's... I don't know what he was thinking. He must have been thinking something, yeah, but, but I don't know what. <laughs> it's going to cost him. It's going to cost him a gut runner now. It is, yeah, yep. Yeah. Glorious surfs with the uh, with the uh, grab. It's funny, you know. Somebody was saying back in uh, back in uh, Blood Bowl two, like, what if uh, you swapped? Long beards. I'll be able to speak a sentence one day. What if you swap long beards if they swap tackle for grab? And I'm like, honestly, like a whole team of grab would be OP. Like a good team full of grab would be OP, I think. And like, obviously they'd struggle versus uh, elves and stuff without tackle. But like, grab is like on everybody would be so strong. And then, you know, black orcs, they actually are pretty strong, aren't they? With uh, like the grab can be strong. The problem is... Um, you know, <laughs> they're really slow, and and they, they've they've coped with that, haven't they? This this match so far, the slowness hasn't cost them yet. It's just this game would have just played into it a little, almost. Let's stand here and have a fight. Yeah, I mean, he tried to rush some people around. I don't think he quite got enough people round, or got enough away from the halfway line players to be able to put enough pressure on. Yeah, this is this is. A, I'm scaven here. I'm thinking about the one turn, and I'm thinking about how do I chip something to make the one turn easier. Yeah, yeah, that troll. I can't work out the troll blitz. <laughs> I can't work it out because it mostly pushes it to here, doesn't he? And then, and then the tackle uphills. Like, there's no. I just don't get what he was doing. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of brawler, but I, re I really like grab. The gr grab lets you do some funky things, like. You know, keeping guard contact and and stuff like that, and and obviously surf. There we saw sideline control. <laughs> Hello, Fimey. I don't know. I thought we'd just do. I thought we'd just do the two of us, right? And then it's like the uh, like the official things. The official unofficial cast. Yeah, this is the official unofficial cast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's done well there. So he's managed to isolate down two. Black Orcs. Yeah, yeah, it's decent. All right, that's that's all right. And then you're looking for the skate, the, him to split, and then maybe with your five remaining players you can dive bomb it and force a turn seven score. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. But these guys are free now. Ooh, I think he's going to definitely <laughs> stay around this roger. No, he's already moved it. Okay. Wow. Ah, uh, chain, chain hit. Feeding the troll. Yeah. Yeah, really nice. A really nice chain to get the extra. Only a 2D, but he has got block. And uh, maybe he should have moved this yeah. big one first, so that if it was a dub skull, which it could have been, right? Could have been. Dice happen. Um, only one in 36, like not, not even crazy, right? So yeah, maybe he should have put that guy out first. Especially as he moves him there now anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So yeah, he he million percent should have been there first. Ooh. Oh, without the sneaky git. Yeah, he's got plenty. He's got plenty of uh, got plenty of out. reserves, hasn't he? But he's out. Yeah, he did. He did want him stunned to 
not do anything dodgy. At what point would you take the Skaven, uh, the gutter runner here, and just go five plus one dice? And just maybe, see what happens. Maybe now. Maybe now. It's not bad, is it? Three, two, and then a four. Three, two, four to one D. Okay. Yeah, go that way. Yeah, and you don't, you don't even have to cancel assist. You just go in. Yeah. Yeah, it seems pretty decent. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because there's tackle there. Yeah. So. Yeah. That, oh, you could uphill with him first, right? To um, because he got blocked. Yeah, that's mixed. Oh, yeah, this, oh, this is a tackle. Yeah, this is a tackle, so you have to. Yeah, okay, you have to. I didn't see this tackle. I saw that tackle. Didn't see this one. So, yeah, uphill him. And then that makes it just a two, and then a two, then a four for a 1D. The problem is he's got nothing else, has he? So. <laughs> it depends, depends where it goes. If you get, like, let's say you roll a power here, you put it side, towards the sideline, there's a half decent chance it bobbles onto the you know, lying down player, for example, and goes out, and then you look a genius. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't go so far to say half decent chance. <laughs> There's some chance. There's a one in nine, chance, one in eight chance. Yeah, there is a small, tiny probability that this is not a terrible play. <laughs> yeah, what, one in eight to land on him, and then a three in eight to get out. So yeah, it's yeah, so he, he he one d's and then tags for a two d. So yeah, maximizing his chance of, as you say, just try and get try and get some kind of chip but it's suddenly looking really bad for Chunder, isn't it? Yeah. The, the Orcs though this turn almost are a well, almost I think they are obliged to move forward because if they the, the your cage is only four squares fast. It needs it needs to go forward the full four squares, so you will split the team this turn. Yeah. Yeah, maybe he should have gone forward last turn. He could have he could have blitzed like, you know, this uh this big one that was tagged off one on one, this big one could have like blitzed forward, right? And uh, and then moved the cage up to here last turn. I wouldn't have minded that, but yeah, now he has to. And he really has to activate the troll, doesn't he? So. Yeah. I guess he could try and leave it there. Maybe maybe he can leave it there. Yeah, maybe he can just leave the, leave the troll behind now. He can dodge yeah, away can. This, this goblin to like um, you know, have an activator, perhaps. I'd, I'd leave the troll because it's it's definitely going to do a job for you. You get to blitz with a lying down big and oh no, he's going to do something. Yeah, that's he's, what he's going to. Like, he's doing something with his roll. Yeah, he's 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 got he's got like he's got that as the activator, right? So the problem is he really wants to fill in this cage corner with a sneaky git, but he really wants to fart. Oh no, he has done it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> And that was the well, problem, think, wasn't it? Yeah, well, I wonder who he's going to blitz next turn. <laughs> who is Chunter going to blitz? <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is a little bit scary for Inarion now. He wants to he wants to guard that, but I think he should maybe be protecting the, uh, the big one as well. Okay, so big 1D pal there. Huge, and an AV break. Okay, that, wow. that really saves him, doesn't it? Really saves him wow. there. Um... Like you know, Chunter could go for surfing, surfing this big one with the uh, Roger, right? Potential, potentially. Yeah. I think I'd, I'd like to see the tackle. I, I think I just yeah, he's going to do it, isn't he? Yeah. I think I, I think I'd have got the tackle off the floor, blitzed from the floor. Yeah. Because next turn he's going to run away. That tackle is irrelevant. So that tackle now is he's KO'd. Oh, he's he's gone the opposite way. He's just saying, screw this. I'm one turning. Yeah, I think it's. I mean, he's got so few players left. It was either like a lunatic. It was either you know like one D the tackler, and then lunatic surf and and tag and then hope you don't get surfed somehow. <laughs> like it, it was so low odds that even even Chunter was unwilling to uh, attempt it. Wait, he re-rolled that dodge? What? That's, that's a bit strange, because he's given up the score. The score is it, absolutely done. Even the gutter can't even you know, dive bomb, because next turn he'll be out of range. There'll be nothing in range to do anything. Yeah. That's strange. Yeah. 
really are. Yeah, protect the gutter. But I mean, he's pretty protected anyway, isn't he? I think. I feel like I feel like the gutter's pretty protected anyway. The guard's doing a good job of protecting the gutter because it's stopping him getting three D'd on a GFI from the troll. <laughs> no, he's, not, he's not even trying that. Oh yeah, and everything's too far away, so it doesn't even need to uh, cage. Yeah, he's just too just too far back. Oh my goodness. Those KOs need to wake up. Flip me. Yeah, just protect his AV7. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Just didn't want to lose more players. We've got to foul the tackler here, 100%. Yeah, I love the cutscenes, like especially the injured ones. Well, no, I mean only the injured ones. <laughs> the, cut, the injured cutscenes, I think, are great. Eight on the AV, so Sneaky gets oh. saves him. And just leave him lying because there's no way he's gonna foul. <laughs> there's no way he's gonna foul you, Black Hawk. There. Hit the goblin. Block with the right ogre. Peace out. They've got go a turn. Yeah. Do not spend time bank on this turn. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point, isn't it? Um not really not really a consideration i had when i was in but uh for like for the slower players amongst you that that is a that is a thing isn't it the time bank it's like it's something to ration uh, we saw somebody completely run out of time in in one of the games and and somebody else went really close so it's it's possible uh oh yeah he hasn't got block okay <laughs> i was like i was like why doesn't he just power him and it's like okay yeah he's got juggernaut not not block <laughs> three three D something with a with a man with block would be done. Not with the troll. Anorian, not with the oh, troll. The troll has mighty blow. <laughs> no, okay, the third the third one he is he's gonna be sensible. <laughs> Reroll it? No. One in two eighteen to make this drive be ruined. Hmm. It's not. It's not very high odds, is it? Yeah, he could have puked. Yeah, that's a good point. The, the troll could have puked. Oh man, do you know what I quite like? That. Oh, oh, I was going to say if if he'd powered, I wonder if he'd have done the two D without block. But probably not. Right, one in eighty one is very dangerous. But yeah, yeah, the puke blitz that would have been pretty decent. Can't fail. Yeah, I actually like that. I actually really like the puke, the puke blitz. Was probably the play, wasn't it? Hundred percent not failing and gets you the armor roll just the same as like the best case that uh the, the best case of that blitz was just an armor roll on the uh on the scaven, wasn't it? A flat armor roll, no no mighty blow. The, so The only thing with the puke, you could have broken your own armor and then you could have killed yourself and you could have failed regen. Yes, it's not a turnover, <laughs> but then the troll's not here. Um, yes. And that's like is... one in two hundred and sixteen as well, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, and then, or you could just not roll trip, trip skulls, twice. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I guess losing your troll would be pretty bad, but you couldn't turn over. <laughs> yeah. What were the KOs? How how many came back? Fifty percent, reliably informed by chat. There you go. Um, oh my god, one of his players is called Yesh. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> did the did the devs do that on purpose, knowing knowing Chunter plays Skaven, or did he rename his player to Yesh? We'll we'll never know. <laughs> That's amazing that Chunter has a player called <laughs> Chunter has a player called Yesh. <laughs> um, so yeah, he's got a few players left. Ooh, eight players. That's enough for a one turn, isn't it? Um, but you know, the the defense obviously is doing something, and he hasn't got sidestep. I mean, that, like, sidestep is so huge for the one turn. It... I'm surprised he hasn't taken a sidestep. Like, if you're you're taking a juggernaut rat ogre for a one turn, yeah, yeah. I like the uh, the blitz from behind into one of the block pieces and go for you know, you screw the middle of the pitch. Go for the, the 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 chain on the side. I think that that's the way to get this one turn. 
that you can run around from behind, blitz the, bla uh, the black orc into something, and then you can chain push. You will to check. You will be able to chain push to go to run forward. Yeah, but that's like that's like a sidestepy type of thing to do, isn't it? It's really weird that yeah, there's no sidestep. And, the, uh, well, and oh, do you know what? Do you know what a critical thing in this is? You can't use time bank on the setups, can you? Right. So this is actually pretty brutal. Uh, we saw it. Yeah, we saw it. Um, Elliot, like he, he was. Uh, he made a slight, a slight sub optimization on his brilliant one turn because you know he was panicking a bit because he was thinking. He was thinking of all like the. Uh, you know, like the fail safes of of what happens to try and like, move all of his snotlings in, and and what if he didn't roll? Like you know, how many he rolled for swarming and stuff, and so he's trying to figure all this out, and then like makes you know make a few frantic moves at the last second, because you only have that that hard two minutes. It would be really nice to have um, time bank for the setups. Yeah. Like here, he doesn't need three on the uh, center LOS because he's got the gutter runner. He's going to try and score with. Yeah. So that's yep. just, just don't be there because you don't need to make a dodge. Yeah, yeah. This this could have yeah this could have could have been anywhere. In fact, probably better not in a tackle zone, right? So that he could have he could have th this one is way better here, so that on a quick snap he gets to go forward straight away. Yep. So he's going to try and cancel the block guy on the top left, then blitz from the side into the uh, tackle, push it into the rat ogre, and then the rat ogre is going to push the gutter runner forward. Yep. Extra reroll for Chunter. Not if he fails to pick it up on a two reroll two, it's not though. Yep. There you go. I mean, to be fair, extra arms wouldn't have helped him. <laughs> but because um, it's raining. But I mean, that was it. That that that's the thing, isn't it? That's the thing with leader. Like extra arms just seems so much better. Like I, I guess now he does. I guess what. So the effect of the leader has in in this in the second half, if he's taken attrition. He's got an extra reroll to try kind of crazier stuff, so it's not just the one turn. Um, it's not only helping with the one turn, it is actually helping in the second half now, as it's a bit more desperate, he's got the four rerolls. Um, yeah, I have the graphics set, I have my bottom five graphic settings set to low for like better readability, but it does make spotting the rain a bit harder. <laughs> yep. Yeah, to be fair. It is a bit hard to see it's raining, isn't it? But it, it is raining. Drizzle. We, 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 we describe this as drizzle in the UK, wouldn't we? Yes. It's not raining, yeah. it's drizzle. <laughs> yep. The leader so reroll does not reset in overtime, no. no. So, yeah, nine, nine versus 13. <laughs> it's... it's Favoring in uh, uh, favoring now for overtime, isn't it? Even if uh, even if like you know he can't stop the score here. Man, and Orange pulled it around. It's it's good. This is good, isn't it? Because you know there was a there was you know a possibility of like just a three nil stomp, wasn't there? I think uh, I think Olivier Dulac beat one of the Black Hawk teams three nil in in uh, I think it was Colian. I think he beat Colian three nil. Yeah, like rats. Tearing the ladder as well, Colin had. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, Colin's a top top player, but um, he was actually tragically tragically couldn't make the main tournament because he disconnected. Um, so you know, who, who knows whether he'd have won his qualifying game versus Moomin Slayer to get in, but uh, he he couldn't make it in. But yeah, he's a great player, Colin, and uh, that was Olivier Dulac just smashed him to pieces. <laughs> Because Skaven, it? it's just so easy for them to, ro to roll some dice and get it done, but they haven't rolled the dice yet. But it's not over. How are you playing this if you're just Are you trying to score the eight turn or are you going to go and score quickly? Well, I would dacker, and Chunter hates dackering. <laughs> so I guess he has to go for a quick score. And like. Blackhawks are a bit rubbish on offense, although although we didn't see it there, did we? They, you know, they they managed to like stay pretty together, glorious, and like no, I won't keep their tackles in. relevant. And like Until I think in Orange did play that half well. And I will defend. Um, I will but if defend. you can destabilize them, I subscribing feel like that's to the your best GB streamer so much better than those streamers yeah, I, I that microwave turns. Three or a four turn, like make them think like they've got a real a chance, and then. 
they haven't because they're black orcs. Uh, in yes. terms of speed, is their way forward here. I, I, I'd be scoring on like turn five it would be it would be quite nice. Two, two turn is too fast. They'll just play like a normal drive. Yes, yeah. You you want you because if if you give them like seven turns to score, that's just really like an eight turn store score, and they, they haven't got the pressure. If you if you leave them like four turns to score, then then it's it's tantalizingly close to possible, isn't it? And then they'll they'll try and get the score, and then and then yeah, you'll nip in and counter score. So yeah, that I think that's the classic to leave like the useless bash teams four turns to score against you and enough that they've got to try you know like if you leave them a two, if you leave them a three turn then uh he started that guy on tackle oh no he didn't he got perfect defense solid defense wasn't it so solid defense um sucked a reroll off of chunter i was absolutely shocked i was like why the hell did he start that on there <laughs> okay he, he hadn't um Thank you very much, Crypto Nick, a glorious. Thanks for staying fantastic for three months. That was brutal, wasn't it? Actually, getting to put the tackle on the, and like making this full, full like elf screen kind of thing, wasn't it? It was actually quite a powerful, yeah. solid defense. Yeah. Troll the troll again. <laughs> yeah, that's the troll blitz. Yeah. <laughs> and then well, and then I'd take the big the, the black orcs just go and squidge him into the. Uh, strength three players say, "Go on, then deal with that. I'll have a load of free hits next turn." Yeah, yeah, that's that's how I tend to play pretty much all of my defenses in NAF, like with like you know the bully teams like orcs and dwarves and and stuff like that. Just just smash into the elfy teams and because they just haven't got the like these are different because they're edge three even, but like you know even dark elves they just haven't got all of the dodge yet, have they? So so you know if you if you smash into these teams with with, with more strength and guard. They're going to have to roll dice and they're going to struggle. Oh, wow. Huge KO. Makes the GFI to base as well. I think if you're going to make that GFI afterwards, you should have done these safe moves first in Aryan. <laughs> how about this five turn score? How about a two turn score? Like, how about just get it in? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Any yeah. Score. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there comes a point in the drive where you go from which turn shall I score to, to score into? Yes, I, I just want to score, please. <laughs> please let me score a touchdown this drive and not lose. He can uphill or one D this tackle, can't he? Um, and then not try to scoop down the side. It's kind of hard to not make it a, a, an uphill, even. You don't want to uphill the block guys, do you? So that only gives you the, the tackles as an option. He's just going to run all the way around. He's, <laughs> He's <yeah>. scaven. <laughs> just so fast. So fast. Yeah. Yeah, movement nine, pretty good. <laughs> it's great that my idea was to uphill to get there and you could just do it you could just run all of the way around and get there wow doesn't leave you with anything else this turn really though there's, there's, that was my turn, cool yeah now everything that's strength edge 3 is just locked yeah yeah he's 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 got like 3 pluses to these 2 squares hasn't he so he's got 3 guys that could potentially come out um but it's not oh, looking good. You dodge another one. Dodge with a guard, maybe for one dice, because you can hit it with it. You get blocked, they don't, and then that works. Yeah. Oh. Okay, we're dodging the tackle there. Yeah, quite, as you say, I, yeah, quite like the 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 guard could have blitzed him, and then give you an assist to dodge out the other one to uh two D the block. Out. That's a bit unlucky, isn't it? Oh, I'm stunned. <laughs> We're definitely in score at all this drive. <laughs> yeah. 100%. Score at any cost. As, uh, you know, at any time you can. Which I think Anarian should respect that, but actually that's a good thing because it's just 2 1 then. It's like at the moment, is it scoring it now on turn 11 or turn 12? You're yeah, okay. You're going to get five turns to score back. That's probably okay. So you need to hurry them up. 
you know, scare them a bit more, make them score, that's okay. The, the problem now, like, this is where the problem with, with Black Hawks raises its head a bit as well, isn't it? Like, you know, if this was Lizard Men, oh my god, the, you know, the, the drive is over, right? But with, with yeah. Black Hawks, they're so slow that, like, you know, they, they, they look completely in charge here and then you can see in a turn or two everything might go a bit wrong as, they, as they're so slow they can't react to, like, Junter switching sides or breaking through and stuff like that. Reroll. Yeah, oh, he, brawler. Oh, brawler. Sorry. Oh, he, he had tackle. He had. He was the tackle one. Yeah, I was like, why is he re-rolling the, the board there when he's got block? But it was the tackle one. But yeah, 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 just brawler, re -roll. I hope at some point they fix that, where the brawler just re-rolls the dice that's being brawled, not everything. Yeah, that would look a lot better, wouldn't it? <clears throat> Display-wise. So he's surely going to three dice the block plus one with block for his blitz, and then try and get as much back as well as he can. I think I'd have gone with the other one there, because you can hit that and then stand in that gutter in a square, and the one that's done the blitz can then go and stand behind the goblin. Now yeah. you've got go for it, do double go for it, I think. Get that. Yeah, because you'd have had that, you'd have that diagonal, wouldn't he? One, two, three, four, you'd have done one GFI, whereas now it's one, two, three, four, yeah, double GFI. So it would have made a GFI difference to stand behind there. He's got to put the sneaky git behind there now. But well, I think that's still a go for it. Yep. So is this guy going to GFI, or should he have just already moved? <laughs> <laughs> Side onto the ball there. Yeah. yeah. So he's got the right square, he's just the turn ordering's wrong. Sorry, suboptimal. Yes. Uh, wrong. <laughs> 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 Safe moves first. Do you know what I said? Do you know there was a bit of there was a bit of stuff, wasn't there, about the streamers and uh, and getting advice from chat and what have you, and like. Honestly, I said you could have an absolute beginner um, just saying it on Discord on Discord call saying safe moves first, and it would improve the the play of nearly everybody in this competition. And like, it's so would it's it's wild, like how not you know not fantastic any of us are. <laughs> you know, you you see all these top players, you know, and they are top players, obviously Anarian, Chunter, Strider, and you know, none of us are like always safe moves first all the time, you know. I, I was talking about on my, my stream this week actually. It caught, I, I realised how not safe moves first. I've been got, I've just got lazy, and 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 when you actually then put effort back into doing it, it's quite hard work. Yeah, I like being lazy. <laughs> it is pretty. I mean, to be fair, from like a streaming multiple games point of view, Blood Bowl takes a lot out of you mentally if you concentrate on it. So it's a lot easier to just autopilot and. Uh, and not think too much in the in like the games that you're cranking out on stream, but oh, he did the jump. Doing jumping. Yes, nice. love the jump. Um, but yeah, obviously here you've you, you know you've got to, and then you know art always makes the argument that well your autopilot should be safe moves first all the time. <laughs> but uh, it's interesting. It is interesting. Lovely jump. There you go. I think that the autopilot, it's so easy to just play 80% and be fine, and, and therefore people do, and, and then they can complain when it's unfair. <laughs> yes. And that's, that's, yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah, 85% effort is a good, is a good value. <laughs> for 85% effectiveness for 20% effort, right, that, that's... It's maybe not quite as low effort uh, effort as that, but it's it's you've got when you're streaming, you've also got the, the chat to deal with, and yeah. chitter chatter. Oh yeah, it's, it's definitely it's definitely really hard. Like you know, Bl Blitzpit. You played Blitzpit. You won Blitzpit, didn't you? Yeah. Blitzpit is just grueling. You know, having to having to think about every single game like that and then play them all in a row. It's so grueling, given a hundred percent. And then, oh, so it's lovely getting that through to make it a lot harder for the goblins to uh, 2D him. I mean, double GFI, it's not that much harder, I guess. But still, oh no, just one GFI if you put him in there. So yeah, one G, it adds a GFI to the goblins, but it also gives you him another cut around there to react next turn. And actually takes all of the, all of the, uh, 
goblins now, doesn't it? Actually takes all of the goblins to do anything. So they don't have any recovery apart from the goblin that blitzes. They got, I th you might be able to do a little bit more because the guard line right lying down, that's four, five, six. You can go and touch one of the goblins if you can make the three, two, two. Mm. And it's not, there's no reason to not do it other than you might get another player killed. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. At this point, it's not that much of a loss, is it? <laughs> he does, yeah. Well, nice. And a one in nine to the turn. I don't think there's any any kind of chain, is there? Maybe, maybe, oh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. No, there grab, is. There grab. Is. Yeah. Block. No, tick, tick. <laughs> oh. You can chain. You can chain a goblin forward, but you, I don't think you can chain a a dude forward because he's the closest, isn't he? The tackle's the closest, yeah. Yeah. and he's the one engaged. So, but you, yeah, you, no, you, no you, you could grab, grab, grab. Uh, well, no, grab, grab, and then block to get the uh, to get the goblin closer. But then that doesn't really make any differences just to GFI or or not even just to cancel. I would like to see an Orion shove at least one of the, the, the Black Hawks if you might do it, you know, um, towards the ball just so it's not goblins versus gutters. Yeah. Yeah, you get this guy. Yeah. Maybe as a safe move you could do it What's the expression? Um, all right, first. <laughs> it's not a bad idea, is it? Just get this guy. Maybe he wants to double GFI at the end, right? Like, so to be fair. Okay, so he's going there. He's leaving this guy to recover, maybe. And then going... Nope. Okay, he's gone. He's leaving this guy to recover. Yeah, he might double GFI. Oh, he can't even base, can he? Yeah, he can. Okay, there we go. So we've got a base 3 2. And what does this guy do? Come in to stop the uh, blitzer? Stop, or stop, the, stop the easy gutter. Yeah, 2 plus out. Stop the 2 plus out. He doesn't stop the 2 plus out. He cazzes a gutter runner. <laughs> I mean, that's, a, that's a pretty good move, isn't it, to be fair? Yeah, yeah, actually, screw the score. Got us out. He did get kicked out, so there is that. I uh, think chat said something. I wasn't really reading it. They'd, they'd, I'd get criticised for reading chat. <laughs> <coughs> so, yeah, it's a, it was a 1D blitz from Chunts, and then he's surely just going to score. So he ends up scoring in four, which isn't that bad, right? It gives him four turns to get the turnover, and it gives Inarian five turns to score, but, you know, it's 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 getting a little tight with five turns. I think the rain makes it interesting as well, because it's a natural four. You, a, a, a deep kick in the rain, maybe, maybe, does yeah. even get through this? Yeah, even if they just defend and get to overtime with Inarian, you know, with like one or zero rerolls, right? That's yeah. a possibility. Yeah. And then they can win yes. the toss, bang it in in two, and, and get to the coin toss. A blitz, yeah. There's things There's things that can happen. I, I don't like Anorin's current setup. I, mean, I hope he changes it and pulls some people back. There's a deep kick here. You are toast. <laughs> it's tough, right? It's tough. I generally like these kind of setups versus Skaven to just stop them, like, you know, breaking through instantly on the blitz. Um, I'd like to see, you know, like, I'd like to see, like, a full, a full, a full defense one with, uh, you know, the troll, well, that was not, the, the troll swap with a, a black orc and then put here, and then this goblin over here, so you've got, like, maximum, and maybe he's even put this guy out there, right? So you've got, like, absolute maximum um, things on the sideline and then just pull them back. If it is a deep kick, I, I prefer because you know the blitz is scary, isn't it? It's really scary at the moment. He's got a rogue blitz and he's he can swarm he's through. In. Yeah. And there we go. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> one rogue blitz, although the kick is atrocious. Oh wow. Yeah, it could just column. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. He could just fully column right because he's got. He could have just gone block, big and in front of all these like 
diagonal and then center so yeah he could have full columned but he didn't but then it, it's it's such a weird kick <laughs> it's such a weird kick square because you haven't got enough scaven to do both which is put pressure around the back and still screen in case it's a, yeah, it's a touch back and Arian will just pick it up and walk forwards and you yeah. toast I don't know I don't know what you want to do with this Roger can't blitz either of these two, which is sad, isn't it? Because the sneaky gets. So the Roger pretty much has to just blitz this guy. Yeah. Because he's he's not the side the trolls on. <laughs> um, and then like you know, run run your guard around. Hope for the best. Need to pal. On a touchback, you put in a black hole. I just, I don't think he can. I think he ha he has to. Oh, he's got jugs. He can use jugs still because it's on a blitz activation, not <laughs> not once per turn <laughs> or anything, anything like that. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, is this guy? Do, do you know what I actually like there? Just maybe he's tagging this one, but I know it doesn't matter because he'd give it to this one or this one then, wouldn't he? So no, disregard. Errata, errata. This is this is fine. <laughs> Does this, this could go. This, this has got so many different ways. This game could branch out here, right? A touchback is terrible for this game, and and not on the floor is terrible for the black or uh, for the orcs. Yeah, this Sorry. is this is scary. Oof, GFI without a reroll. I think Chunt is almost far enough behind that maybe you know he can commit without fear to this. Honestly, I don't even think the touched back is that good for the for the Blackhawks because they're so slow. Um, you know, I mean it's good that they save the seventy five percent pickup. Really good that they fail you know, like really good that it's not a nightmare like this. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not that good in terms of like you know it's well I've won now do you know what I mean it was just a, it was just a good to avert disaster kind of situation yeah. I'm surprised he's not bobbling that onto the ball to give him a free chance of picking it up here I know yeah. you could maybe bounce it onto the gutter but you've got a tackle guy who's free who just pulverizes the gutter runner yeah yeah I re I really like going for the the scatter there Maybe I can, I don't know how much Inarian's played of of Blackhawks. Like I know he played them a lot. Like he qualified from Blackhawks for this for the playoffs. But like he's played a lot of elves, where elves you know don't want to catch bouncing balls, right? Whereas generally, you know, in case like you know you've already activated one, they catch it. But you really, really, really want somebody to catch this randomly because the seventy five percent pickup. You know, even if you splat this guy with your three dice, which didn't. Um, even if he did splat him and you know got the ball like it's a 75 percent isn't it that's well available and it's one of your two rerolls you've got left really scary doing the pickup almost any fail here now is that there's no there's no there's very few good squares where this could scatter into the escape and don't think I'm having this yeah yeah this is scary and he's just freed the rat ogre up as well more I or less yep yep Yep, this is a bit of a pickle. Right. Which one are you picking up with? A sneaky git? Or are you going to bring the goblin that's miles away just to create a, like a wider net and then the sneaky git picks it up? Or are you taking with the sneaky, uh, the, the wider, far, far away goblin? Uh, far away so I can still foul people. <laughs> 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 Also, it's a good scatter, isn't it? Good scatter catch. Um, or like, you know, tackle zones if you fail the pickup. Got it. It cost him his reroll. Yeah, that's that's really nice for uh, for an Arian. So, yeah, we've got an uphill here. Chunter loves an uphill, doesn't he? He's got an uphill option. Um, and then, yeah, he's got the freeing the... Ro the freeing the jugger option, uh, jugger roger, freeing the roger, maybe chain the roger in, but could blitz, couldn't he? he? Could blitz the goblin there if he could fill something. If he could fill things, he could blitz the goblin, 
and then like block the goblin and get the rogue on. I don't know how feasible that is with so few players. No, I'm trying to see how you chain anything toward. <laughs> but it's just chaining the rogue on one square right, the other way, towards the ball. Because um, if you can do the first one, you've got the second one. Yeah. Yeah, no pals. Yeah, but you know, he'll, he'll he'll trade all the pals for the pickup. To be honest, like you know, the the nightmare there was reroll get reroll down, ball bobbles out, and you know, it could have just been GG, right? The, the ball could have just been out here, and then chunt us off with it. So I don't see an easy, clean way of this. I think oh, I'm just freeing the right over. Jump. <laughs> On a five, you're in on a five, yeah. <laughs> not, I'm not seeing a clever play here. No, no, on it, yeah. Rogue, the problem with the, the six plus Rogue dive is cancelling the uh, cancelling the other assists and stuff, isn't it? Um, because you'd really want a 3D if you were gonna six plus without a team reroll. Like you'd rather just you'd rather just uh, six plus in with the block guy, right? It's uphill here, and then six plus in with him, so you've got a reroll on it. What? We're in the time bank. Actually, if you're going for the crazy, right? Got to run a punches block guy. Roger put um, the, the block big and pushes it next to the right ogre. The right ogre then punches it, gets a push. Yeah. Then the push into the ball carrier. To push the ball carrier behind the troll, and then one of the line rats can then two dice the ball carrier. I mean, it's bonkers. <laughs> and you don't even need to. You don't even need to do that, right? You can just uphill him to there, and then roger him out of the way, and then this guy's just straight in. Oh yeah, you can do just that. Block. Yeah. The problem is this being a three D uphill <laughs> at the moment. Well, if this is a power, like if you do this, and this is a, you, you hit it. And you actually knock that big and over because it's now 2D. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's 2D now. Um, then you're in. Yeah. So you may as well take that. So you may as well do the gutter and a block into the block and see what happens. Yeah. Yeah, I think you have to, and then and then push you hit him with a with a with a roller and hit him out, and on a pow, you uh you do something else. <laughs> well, ro ro roller hit the ball. So yeah. Done it. The push. So yeah, I think uh, yeah, as you say, yeah, we'll 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 try and chain the ball out to there, and then, yeah. or here, or here, there, here, there, and then this one could dodge out and hit him. Yeah, because the other one has to stay in contact with the troll for the assist cancel. Yeah, yeah, he's going to do it. Oh, he doesn't get it. Oh, the tackle rat. Yeah, there's nothing here. So he can, oh, but then, oh, that's really bad because now he's in the square where he wanted to be. Oh, maybe he shouldn't have followed. Oh. Maybe he shouldn't Tack have followed. No, it doesn't matter. No, it doesn't matter. Tackle, tackle rat is six plusing in. <laughs> yeah. But if, if, if the first one had been a push, right, the second one he could have just powered out there. And then the yeah, tackle rat would yeah, have been yeah. in. So yeah, that would have been amazing, actually. Yeah, there was no need to chain him out for anything. You could have just literally, if the first one had been a push, second one a pow, and then tackle rat comes in for the 2D. Yeah. Man, so close. It wasn't even that unlikely, right? It really wasn't, no. Man. Yeah, even two pushes, yeah, yeah. He's still cancelling all the assists, yeah. I just greedy and want pals eventually. <laughs> we could still do the six, but the problem is now it's a one D, isn't it? So I like I like running away here. That that's sensible. Yeah. Now now get the unskilled gutter out. Yeah. It's through tackle though. Not, not through tackle. Oh. What? B rolls. <laughs> you could have been a little bit less far forward and just run south and then round. 
It's still a three though, isn't it? There's a goblin what here. You, so what did he roll? Was it the was it the first roll he failed? Oh no, it was the two plus. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was the two plus that he failed. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it was because he went through tackle. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, if he'd gone out this way. It would have made a big difference, though, right? It would have been on the halfway line. It would have been in an Aryan's half compared to, like, six deep in his own or whatever. So, uh... But, yeah, I mean, I think you don't want to make dodges through tackle if you can help it. <laughs> when it's more important to be available... Yeah, damn thing's movement nine. It's not like it hasn't got range next turn. Yeah. Is looking, it's looking pretty good now for the um, orcs. Yeah, it's looking really nice. Really nice. Really nice, <laughs> as Chunter would say. And the, the other game, um, like, you know, the corresponding fixture was Hiru with dwarves beat Smilzo with lizards. So the winner will be facing dwarves, and the loser will be facing lizards. So dwarves, I don't think, are that bad a matchup for uh, the Blackhawks if they can win this. Dominate them. Hmm. The way he's playing minus two skills. <laughs> yes. It's strange because yeah, I, I thought the might be a two tackle was bonkers, but actually you just need it in matchups like this. Those these matchups is so much trouble otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's it's funny, like, you know, Colian I think went six guard and I think World Sitar went like four guard, two block or something, and then an orange's got no guard at all, and the two tackle to shore up this and then you know he's faced Dark Elves and he's faced Skaven twice. <laughs> so, you know, it's there's been a lot of value from those tackles that he's taken. I do think if the Colian game, like my game, I, I got to beat him up because I was able to guard lock him a bit. And and I know I got really lucky. The dice absolutely, right, level one was I got lucky, then everything else happens. But the, if I'm playing in sick guard, I don't get the opportunity to be lucky, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. There was a, it was a massacre. I think it was Seabros, Colian Seabros. And it was just a massacre all of it. It might not have been Seabros. It was just a massacre all of the guard. It's like, you know, he couldn't do anything. It was crazy. Crazy how good having six guard was. And yet you'd never take six guard on lizards, right? I've never been to a tabletop tournament where someone's turned up and goes like, what you got? Oh, six guard lizards. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what? No, it's funny, isn't it? I think Bright went with three guard lizards, um, but then he lost to Dion Lord with just the bog standard six block. And funnily enough, all three lizards who qualified were just bog standard six block. <laughs> so interesting, isn't it? But they, they do have the grab right to keep to keep their guards together, like to keep people in contact with double guard and stuff. And then they've also got the brawler to mitigate lack of block a bit. So they actually do have, you know, the couple of advantages that they've got over lizard men do help with the guard spam. Oh, is that the last reroll? KO'd. Yeah, going in. That's and it. That's, that's it, yeah. Because he's good. He's, he's, one of his guts has got took out last turn, the other one's got stunned on the halfway line, so they're basically toast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. Yeah. Well, that's that then. Yep. But not out, thankfully, because it's... Uh, it is double elimination, so you'll have a second chance versus Smilzo and his Lizardman. And that match will be on at about at about seven UTC. Well, nineteen hundred UTC um, tomorrow. Yep. Or or twenty one. One of those two. <laughs> I think Skaven would definitely rather play Lizards. Yeah, you know they can they can hit skinks that have the ball. And they don't get everybody killed by block and tackle. <laughs> so, in a way, in a way, they're both kind of happy. Like, and I think, you know, Inarion would probably be more happy facing dwarves, right? Bully the dwarves, than uh, facing a similar team that has two squares of movement on him in every position. <laughs> so, so actually, you know, they've, it, you know, maybe this suits them a little bit <laughs> uh, with the opponents. Not as bad as it could have been. 
this is. <laughs> See, I think that's touch greedy because he Inarian scores and at the end of the game he wins. I would, I would have gone after the one of the players that could potentially do something. The two lying down closest to the ball. Yes. Yeah. Or or the gutter. Um, but yeah. One of them, not just the irrelevant movement four guy who needs somebody, you know, needs somebody to eat if he wants to activate hundred percent. Yeah, that was that was pretty. Like this has suddenly got a little bit rowdy now, hasn't it? From yeah. oh, this is done, and we've all like, right, okay, so you're playing you, and you're oh, uh, hang on a second, actually, hang on. Yeah, this is a double G if I to hit to hit with this guy. This is the thing. It's Blackhawks being so slow, like so unbelievably and slow. And you can tag it out. There's a line right at the hot on the, at the bottom of the picture here. That runs round, tags that, or the gutter runner that's moving you know, <laughs> nine, even lying down. You know, bonkers. <laughs> Look, it's a two-two for the gutter. Um, That's insane. Two, three, four, and a three-two for that guy, or a four for him. Right. <laughs> right. Back on then. Yeah, he did. He did. Uh, he did flip it a bit. <laughs> there's no one turn, uh, is there? Yeah, there right. is. No, no, it's a chunt, a chunt no. of scores. So yeah, there's no, there's no one turn. Christopher B, because uh, it was uh, unless unless an orange can score next turn, but then you know that seems crazy, right? When you can just try and stall it out. So yeah, this was Chunter's drive scored in four, and gave an orange five turns to score back. He, he might actually need to score next turn, <laughs> bizarrely, because how the hell do you keep the ball safe from that gutter runner? Yeah. Well, he, he's just can hit anywhere in the half. Well, I suppose you're going to punch it, but... Yeah, you're going to try and splat it. And you've got a sneaky get for it as well. It's a strange target. Like... Yeah. It doesn't... I don't think it does enough. Just obsessed with killing the roger, isn't he? <laughs> Must kill <the old> roger. <laughs> like they, they, it frees it frees up the people for like assists and activations and stuff, right? But this block first is a bit weird, isn't it? Not not a but I guess it it makes a better failure state in terms of like absolute failure state, doesn't it? In that like that if it goes to overtime, that guy removed is good. Brings in the two assists, so he can hit with the goblin himself. He's got to score there, surely. I, it's too risky. <laughs> Depends what happens with this block, honestly, right? He's gonna he's gonna put the tackle in here, block him there, and then push him to there, and obviously, hopefully, power him on his side. And then you know we'll see what happens. <coughs> but he's gonna leave four four three for the if, if the line rat. If, if the line rat armor breaks, you don't score. If the line rat on sorry the armor rat. Line right does armor break, you don't have to score. But if he doesn't armor break, you're leaving 4 3 to then get this game to overtime. Uh, well, 4, four 3 and a. Yeah, and. And then 55%. You're going to have to 5 3, right? If you are, if you power him there. Oh, he's removed the gutter. If you power him in, in between these and stay where you are. Holy. He's not blitzed with the ball. No, no, just just punch him and stay where you are. So then it's a five plus. Oh, it's five. I think five. Yeah, okay. So it's five, five, three. Five, three. Yeah, five, three. <laughs> but still, <laughs> it's it's funny, isn't it, that Chunt put in his last reroll on like you know a, a stupid hail mary thing that he thought had no chance of working, and now he's actually got. Also, he, oh, but he can reach around this way. Oh, I didn't think he could reach that way. It gets the knockdown. Oh my He's got goodness! Him. Can't believe he had enough movement. Oh, because he didn't power him. That was right. Because he didn't power him. If he powered him there, it was yeah. it was a five. But be because he didn't power him, he was able to go all the way around. Yeah, he had the movement. Oh man! So here we go. Does he re-roll it? it? Doesn't have to. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the rain made no difference in this game. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, there you go. The reach around. <laughs> he got him with a reach around, yeah. 
that was a pretty fun game, wasn't it? The, you know, the rats. The rats did keep coming up with plays. Chunter really nice with the uh, the pushing the uphill, wasn't it? Typical Chunter play the uphill into the roger to try to get the uh, to try to get the tackle in. But yeah, the dice definitely favoured in arena. And that, you know, they, I think they kind of had to to make it a game. Um, but you know, I think they both played well, and it was a great game. So there you go. Yeah. Um, Commiserations to Crystal Hunter, but he's not out yet. He does go to the losers bracket. It's set to play Smilzo, and Arian progresses the winners bracket playing Hiru. And uh, yeah, there you go. Thank you very much, Andy Davo, for joining me in the booth. Amazing to have you on the channel. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much for having me. See you in the next one. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow is when the official casts start. Very exciting. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.